like it. And we may have stolen one of our one of our favorite segments is rapid fire, which you're going to learn about here very shortly. But uh, that, I may have stolen one of those questions because I wasn't sure which side of the road you were on. All right. So. Sorry. Go ahead, Chris. I didn't mean to interrupt the Denver segment. Okay, so I guess, like, you know, you had mentioned one of your favorite mountain towns is Steamboat. Mm -hmm. Do you have kind of, whenever you get out to a mountain town or something, do you have a favorite mountain town brewery you like to check out? Or, is you know, for our skiers and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. I I like, um, like, up at Dillon, um, I like the Dillon Dam Brewery. Um, And it's Pug Pug Rhines is up there, too, right? They're in the area somewhere. Yeah. Really, really good Pilsner. Again, I go back to Pilsners. Yeah. Um, delicious. Um, when I go to Steamboat, I've got to go to the Barley. Um, it's it's not a brewery, but it's a it's a tap house. Okay. Um, it's a. Is that where we went? No, we went to a brewery next to the pizza place. No, that pizza was an actual place. brewery. Okay. Sorry, okay. I, I didn't mean to dice. Oh no, no. All, all good. Yeah. No, the, the, the barley, um, actually, it's owned by a former employee here at, at Seedstock, and they were just a plug to the barley. They were rated the best uh, tap house in Steamboat last year. Um, oh, so they're offering a bunch of different... Cur- yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. We're, on, we're on tap there sometimes. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah. I dig it. I dig it. I think we did pretty well. We got some new answers for our listeners at home, um, some sleepers. And as we know, Ron is a a weathered veteran of the Colorado scene. So he's seen it not only adapt and change, but he's seen those staples that have stayed true to the community and the town. So if you want to take Ron's word for it, go catch out. Go catch these spots. We'll post them all on Stone Appetit. These will be our, you know, the professional picks, as we like to call Love them. Love it. And we, we don't mean like nudes, like Kim Kardashian and the rest of the hots. We mean these hot picks, restaurant style. So well done, Chris. Well done, Ron. But that does lead us to one of our favorite segments of the day. And this one will be sponsored by the Fillmore Denver. If you're trying to catch a show, go check out FillmoreAuditorium.com. See what they have on the lineup. You won't be disappointed. And don't forget to go check out – and follow them on Instagram and uh, Facebook, at Fillmore Den, D-E-N. By the right. that means it's rapid fire season. Ding, ding, ding. All right, we so. We need cool music for yeah, rapid fire. Yeah, we do. We need, like, we need, like, what's We that? need a real fucking producer. Yeah. I'm about as smart as uh, <laughs> my goddamn shoes. What's the, what's the guy? Got to outsource. Does, what's yeah. the guy who does, Take like, the tips. stock show where he hits all those buttons to make noises and shit, like the crazy guy? Yes, yes. You I, know what I'm yeah, I do about. know what you're talking about. But, yeah, about. we do need some different uh, kind of sounds and buzzers. Uh, but anyways, Ron, this is how this goes. We're going to say two things. You pick this or that. You know, just first thing that comes in your head. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. You All don't right. sound ready. How about um, now? Okay, now I'm ready. Okay. There it is. That's now I'm ready. Enthusiasm. Right. I saw it. Coffee or espresso? Coffee. Vo- uh, beer pong or flip cup? Beer pong. Vodka or gin martini? Gin martini. Do you like it with blue cheese stuffed olives? I love blue cheese. I've never had one with blue cheese stuffed olives. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love olives, too. Yeah. Uh, let's go thick or thin crust pizza. Uh, thick. Oh. Weed or beer? Beer. Funnel or shotgun? Shotgun. Mike's Hard Lemonade or Smirnoff Ice? Mike's Hard Lemonade. <laughs> Denver or Boulder-based beers? Denver. Yeah, it's kind of slam dunk for you. Mountains or city? Mountains. Stout month or July IPAs? July IPAs. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Tacos or burger? Burger. Front or the backside of a woman? Mm, backside. <laughs> <laughs> That's a awesome. New, that like was that? a good one. That's the kindest way I could phrase it. So uh, You did really well there. You didn't, like, diverge. You picked one. You went with it. Yeah, I don't think there were any hard answers there. It was all pretty you easy. You think that, but yeah. if you listen, or for those that have listened to our old episodes, we usually find ourselves on a tangent because they'll be like, both, neither, <laughs> <laughs> post. Yeah. Uh, pop, you pop, followed instructions. Popeye's yeah. or KFC? Oh, KFC. All right. Well, we're going to have some fighting. Uh, all right. All right. That's that southernness <laughs> coming out. So it's all right. How about churches, huh? Fuck yeah. Okay. Dude, those jalapeno stuff with cheddar <laughs> uh, and those honey butter biscuits. Woo. Holla at your boy. Um, let's go. Well, speaking of food, and we're not out of the woods yet, this is our stoned appetite segment. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you a tough question. This is one of our – this is our, our bro call style question here. Let's say you had a long night. Let's say you worked, you know, the front and the back. You were short-staffed. You didn't close up and clean. You got home. You're leaving here like midnight. What's the late-night go-to snack that you have 
whether you get home or on the way home, what's your guilty pleasure late night snack? Taco Bell. Fuck yeah. There's, no, there's nothing else. Yeah. What do you get? Usually just a hard shell tacos. Just really? a bunch of hard shell tacos. Old fashions? Is Old it fashions. It's like yeah. a hand jibber. Yeah. Don't go do wrong you get, if you don't do like it. Do you get a bunch of hot sauces though? Oh, it? a bunch of has to be hot yeah. sauce. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. What's your stance on Diablo sauce? On Diablo sauce? No, nah, I can't do it. It's that uh, one with the black label yeah, that looks no, real scary? No, 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 no. I'm scared of that. Okay. You know, again, I'm, I'm more gravy and mashed potatoes, right. not so much, you, you know, hot sauce. See, I'm a big fan of the chalupas over there. It's like this fried shell, sauce shell. Shit fucks, Ron. Shit fucks. It's on good. Your it's next, just, on it's, your next late night go home. Get a chalupa. Man, they're just too expensive. What are those? Those are like a dollar ninety nine, right? And to be honest, that may actually be a gordita. No, no, gordita. Gordita. Yeah, okay, cheesy wait. gordita crunch. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It is yeah. a chalupa. Yeah. The chalupa may be like it's a three dollar price point on those puppies. So yeah. it doesn't. The bang is not for the buck on that as it is the hard taco. So. Yeah. But venture out. Don't be shy. Okay, I'll do that next time. Yeah. Your, dip yeah. your toe in it. Let me know if the pool feels fine. Yeah. Come back to me and let me know. Usually <laughs> I order about 10 or 12 things. Holy shit. <laughs> I eat about six of them, and then I have, you know, lettuce everywhere in the car, and the wife the next morning knows exactly what happened. So, Did you yeah. get a little gluttonous on the way home, Ron? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got a salad. <laughs> yes, that's, that's exactly. <laughs> Well, I actually stole Chris's fan favorite question right there, so I'm going to let him ask the other one. We have another question. This is a reader. This is our listener's favorite question of the day. Mm-hmm. So, Chris, go ahead and lead the way, brother. All right. This is this is a great question, by the way. Um, so, first of all, Ron, do you believe in dinosaurs? Yes, I believe in dinosaurs. All right. Nice. If you could be a dinosaur, what no, dinosaur? It's not if you would. What kind of dinosaur would you be? Because and why? otherwise, if you there could you just go. be what you want, then nobody would ever pick a Stegosaurus. Right. Everybody would be like, I want to be something cool. See, that's why what, I wasn't good with this. What kind of dinosaur would you have been? Mm. It's all about personality, characters. Yeah. And a brief explanation of why. Yeah. What, what, what's the one that flies? Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. I'd be a pterodactyl. Just and why? Because it flies. Fucking right. I think that's always going to be... I mean, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Flying seems like it'd be cool as shit. Yeah. And seafood. It can't we, need be a, start, we need to start keeping record of all the pterodactyls we get. Gotta be a pterodactyl. We, yeah. We've gotten the, we've gotten a good amount. Yeah, it can't I, be a T-Rex with those, you know, those little arms kind of thing. That it makes masturbation. Seems like a waste. Exactly. Difficult. It's a waste. Yeah. It's if a you're waste. not married, I mean, that guy's probably going without getting laid his whole life. Yeah. And he can't pick. He can't no, pick he can't pick. Car. He that's just walks. Or, he's pissed off, so he eats everybody, and that's why. Yeah, I mean, that, he's an angry elf, as they would call him in huh? the movie Elf. Get it? South yeah, Pole? I did. Thank you. It's not the season, but it's still a good movie. Well, uh, Ron, that pretty much wraps it up. We got to go through the nitty-gritty. We got to ask you your favorites around the town. I do want to re-highlight, we are down here at Seedstock Brewery with owner Ron Abbott. Sorry, I couldn't remember your last no, name. That's all right. Um, and Ron does, he has a slew, 10 or so beers on, on I guess, tap. Um, delicious ones. We kind of hyped a little bit on the Pilsner, but he does have, a, you know, the stouts. He has the ales, so he, he can check off everybody's kind of itch. They have the ambers. They have the IPAs, so don't feel like it's just, are the gauche. Is that, does it? Sure. Get a premium Czech lager. That's probably the brewer's favorite. Damn it. Okay. I didn't even know I was not drinking the fan favorite. And b- before we leave, or before we wrap things up, are there any, like, big beer festivals coming up that we can find you guys at, or is there anything more special about this place we haven't covered happy like hour the, specials uh we know that tuesdays is trivia night yeah, tuesday trivia so we're actually we're starting something that I, that i love um the first wednesday of the month we're doing a we call it a deep roots americana showcase so it's the best of americana music in denver um live right here the first wednesday of the month at seed stock and Hell that, yeah. Is that outside on the killer patio? That's or is that y'all gonna throw them inside? We're gonna too? throw them inside kinda where we're sitting right now. It gets a little it gets a little crowded in here, but um yeah, when the, we, that's right. When the when the weather gets nice, yeah, we'll we'll move the bands out to the patio and have a good time. And awesome. Yeah, for those again that don't uh remember Lowell Colfax and you probably have passed by it's actually one of the newer looking buildings and they have this huge patio that is semi-occupied now but the weather we're just now kind of getting into spring so this place yeah. is going to be rip roaring all spring and summer you'll definitely need to come down here check out what they're doing Ron and his crew have a fucking sick scene going on delicious brew dogs and uh 
they also have pizza as well as a, a fire diner down the Can't street. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Pizza and beer. Blood jobs and sex. Yeah. Can't beer. So if you come in and you see a guy with a big beard, just Introduce. say, hey, Ron. Tell him All you heard right. about it on the podcast. Maybe you get uh, something out of it. Probably know. will. So pop, you'll get free popcorn. Absolutely free popcorn. Yeah, that's Fuck right. Yeah, free popcorn yeah. for anyone that comes in. Mention this podcast. And mentions this podcast. Yeah, that's a fair trade. I'll, yeah. I'll watch that all day. It goes down well with a check logger Fuck or yeah. Pilsner and logger, yeah. whatever. I can get behind all of the just Isle Naturale. So yes. I will be here for trivia this evening, but Ron, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to come uh, hang out with us. That was my Shoot pleasure. Shit. That was fun. Yes, sir. It was a hoot to holler. And like we mentioned, great beer, great answers, and... You may have tipped off some of our listeners to uh, a new diner, especially for our folks that are in the, the I guess, the Highlands area. It's yeah, right down the road. Hits the, the spot. Hit hits. Ju- they're just west of Sheridan. Yeah. yeah in Lakewood. Yeah, yeah, right past the Easy Pond. That has exactly. That's like half of my stuff. Exactly. That's right. I'm going to have to check that place out. It's fucking good. It's real good. But for our listeners, until we see you all next week, we want to say stay hungry, stay thirsty. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There we go. Cheers. Bye.